this for a moment. How much packaged food do you consume on a daily basis? The cookies, the crackers, the treats in the vending machine. Really, many of our go-to snacks, and I know the answer to the question. <laughs> I know you know the answer to the question. I really don't want to think about it. Now think about this. Do you know what all of that food is doing to your body? Well, researchers have found that the synthetic chemicals used in food packaging and processing can leak into the food, and that can lead to chronic low-level ingestion of the substances over a lifetime. So today, we find out how to cut back on packaged foods to protect our health. Cardboard, cling wrap, plastic. These packagings make grabbing a meal quick and easy, but how many foods do you eat each day that comes from some sort of package that could be putting you in danger? Most of my food comes from packaging. Recently it was like all my food came in a package, so it was like every meal. It might be hard to eliminate them completely, but there are ways to cut down. First, buy your favorite foods in bulk, which can be stored in glass containers at home. It's a good option for buying what you need and reducing the number of products that sit in your cupboards. Buy more loose produce. You can avoid plastic by picking up some natural fiber reusable mesh bags, plus they're machine washable. Tips to keep your food fresh and your body healthy. Did you get that? I, I got that, and I want you to know that I don't eat packaged food all the time. No. It's just like 95 or 90 percent of the time. Just when you're at work. Only when I'm at work. <laughs> it's the truth. Or just most of the time. <laughs> well, perhaps you try to support your diet with supplements, and there are so many on the market. It can sometimes be confusing and overwhelming to determine what your body does and does not need. So how do you choose? Well, here are three key supplements you need to be taking as recommended by Dr. Oz. If you have ever been to a vitamin store, you know how overwhelming it can be. Rows and rows of vitamins to choose from. So how do you choose? Start by choosing a multivitamin. It ensures you get all the essential vitamins and minerals recommended for each day. A typical multivitamin includes 10 vitamins and 10 minerals. And pick up omega-3 fatty acids. They boost your brain, protect your heart and arteries. And finally, try calcium and magnesium. Calcium combined with magnesium not only supports your bones, but also keeps your teeth and muscles healthy. Choose ones that contain 600 milligrams of calcium and 400 milligrams of magnesium. And as with anything regarding your health, you have to be careful. By taking more than five supplements a day, you could risk potential negative pill interaction. So always discuss with your doctor or pharmacist first. It's all about moderation. Talk to the doctor, because yes. I didn't realize how many things I could be taking extra that would not be good. Yeah. Good thing to find out about that. Now there is one nutrient that helps keep your body's nerve and blood cells healthy, and that is vitamin B12. It can also go a long way in boosting your energy. As a matter of fact, that's why vitamin B12 seems to be in high demand these days, with some people even opting to get vitamin B12 injections. But the question is, is it just a fad, or is vitamin B12 really the fountain of youth? A hot new trend among celebrities? Vitamin injections. Celebrities like Rihanna and Rita Ora have shared photos of themselves hooked up to drips. The vitamin of choice, B12. Vitamin B12, it's an essential vitamin. It's also called cobalamin, and it's something that we need in our body to help it work normally, especially as far as making new cells, like red blood cells, and helping your nervous system work properly. B12 is said to increase energy and speed up the metabolism, which may be why many labs now are giving them by the hundreds. No need for a prescription. A lot of people will come in, you know, at week four of their last shot and say, you know, at week three, I could really tell my energy just dropped off the table and I needed another B12 shot. But according to registered dietitian Heidi Schmidt, most people are getting plenty of B12 through their diets alone. I don't think that there is a lot of um, untapped into B12 deficiencies out there. Again, it's from dairy and animal products, and that's not something that the American diet is typically low in. Nancy Biederman gets B12 injections every month. I was diagnosed back in 2006 being B12 deficient. I had um, a feeling in two of my fingers that was the same and it was not really a numbness tingly, just kind of a weird feeling that didn't go away. Most likely a severe deficiency. Nancy can tell when she's getting low on B12 by her energy levels. The only true way to know if you are B12 deficient is with a blood test, but there are some signs. People can get fatigue or headache as some of the more common things. In more advanced stages, you can get some neurologic uh, side effects. So that would be mood changes, 
numbness or tingling in the hands and feet, sometimes difficulty walking, irritability, memory problems, things like that. Dr. Berkshouse says B12 injections can't really do much damage. So they're probably not causing a significant amount of harm, but they're also probably not helping themselves much if they don't actually have a true condition that they're treating. Now, just in case you think you may have a vitamin B12 deficiency, take a wild guess who you probably should talk to. Uh, your doctor? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Talk to your doctor. <clears throat> so we have our body taken care of. Now let's turn to the bank account. You may be one of the millions of people struggling to pay off student loans. Up next, the one thing experts say you want to avoid at all costs when it comes to paying down that debt. Plus, it's a question you might not really think about now, but maybe you should. Are you ready to retire? We're going to hear from three people who may inspire you to start planning for those golden years now. Delmarva Live, we'll be right back.